Welcome back. We have some special guests in our studio audience today, and they are the fourth graders from Walnut Creek Elementary, and their principal, Mrs. Bonda Jenkins. Welcome. What an honor it is to bring you greetings from the entire Walnut Creek Elementary School community. And with me today are the awesome fourth grade scholars of Walnut Creek. Take a look at them, aren't they great? And future competitors of broadcasters like me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good to have you all here. Thank you so much. And we're so excited about the project. And with us now are two teachers from Walnut Creek Elementary that will be working with their students on this link project. They are Kate Riley and Christy Soltis and to both of you welcome to the, you. the show it's nice Thanks of you to be us. here well I'm kind of excited Kate, this was your project this was your idea yeah how did you come up with this one um, well I just I just really thought that the kids would benefit a lot from having the opportunity to be a news broadcasting crew I thought that would help them learn their science content and, uh, and Christy, your involvement in this is, uh, it, it has to do with weather, I'm assuming, based on what you're holding in your hands. <laughs> yes, it sure does. Um, I'm the science teacher at Walnut Creek, and um, so I'm helping Kate with the weather portion of um, this project. What are the kids' response to having an opportunity like this? Does is something like this get them pretty fired up and excited? Yeah, the students are really excited to embrace this opportunity for this authentic experience. I think they're going to really do great with it. Well, I know it's neat having them around. It really is. And then you got to come to my house to make my kids quiet too, like this. They're being so good. <laughs> They're being awesome. Tell us, tell us about the weather project, though. Let's get into that. Um, so this is a um, Four Seas grant that we were awarded for news broadcasting in elementary science. So the students are going to get to take on the real life roles of meteorologists, journalists, and news broadcasting crews in order to learn um, their curriculum. So when you dig into weather, are they digging truly into the science of weather? That's in addition to, because it's a whole other field of broadcasting it. I mean, so they're actually going to know what they're talking about, I guess is my question. True? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to be analyzing weather patterns. They're going to be looking at weather fronts. Um, and then they'll be actually making their own broadcasts. Now, how does something like this benefit the kids? So um, we are taking this project twofold. Um, the students that you see here today are fourth graders and they're gonna be fifth graders next year. And so they are going to get this experience with the broadcasting this year. And then they are going to be our Walnut Creek news crew next year. And then next year they will be working with the weather content all year and they will get to actually do meteorology and do their science content. Oh, that's neat. Tell me about the news crew. Is there an opening? I'm looking for a gate. <laughs> now, is this an in-school kind of newspaper? Is that what that is? It is. We, um, it, we have morning news every morning, and it's the fifth graders at our school. Uh -huh. And um, in the past, it's just been a few experts doing that broadcast. Um, so what our goal is this year is to take these awesome fourth graders and um, kind of train them up. And so all this last quarter, they're going to be working on a take action press release and that's going to integrate their language arts standards and their um, science standards and then the world of broadcasting and then that project is going to then help us to select teams of students that um, can collaborate together to be the news crew next year that's neat I mean it's more than just fun as a teacher now and there's lots of ways to teach, and this program's been around for five or six years. I don't know how long you guys have been involved in it, but uh, from your perspective as a teacher, how, obviously you're on board with it, you're enthusiastic yeah. about it, but that does change the way teaching's uh, been done in the past, and it's a rather new development. How, how does it play out in the classroom and, and with the kids particularly? Um, yeah, it's an incredible opportunity because um, learning is changing a lot. So to give students ownership in the classroom um, just really empowers them and their learning. So yeah, yeah and we just um, these authentic experiences, yeah. these real life project based experiences ties that curriculum that they're learning in with those four C's. And so um, it helps them to learn those 21st century skills that they'll need in their future careers. Mm -hmm. And talking about their future careers, um, not to tell you the when I was a kid story, but when I was a kid story, there was none of this kind of stuff, you know? And uh, today, um, having this opportunity, especially for fourth graders, uh, it seems young to me on one, on one level. Does it seem young to you or not? I mean, you're, you're engaged in this all the time. I think 
I think it's really going to benefit these kids to start out young doing this. Yeah. Um, and they're, they have so much potential. These kids are awesome. So they can definitely handle this. And it will give them just so much time to practice, like their communication skills um, and their critical thinking skills. And, you know, by practicing those skills, those are the skills that I think that um, they will need in the workforce in the future. So where do you see this going in the future as teachers? I mean, obviously, you, you guys think this is a great idea. And I imagine as time goes on, it'll evolve. But is this going to be something that is going to be a long-term kind of a a deal for, in this case, Wake County Public Schools. It's, gonna, it's here to stay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, project-based learning is definitely here to stay. Um, it really empowers kids in the classroom, and learning today looks a lot different than it did back when we were students. So um, I think it's really going to help. Yeah, and I think just um, developing those skills is going to help the students. Yeah, mm -hmm. and do you guys interact with the businesses as well, um, or not we so much? Um, we've had the opportunity to interact just with um, this business and this field trip and so um, it's been wonderful to learn from them and so that we can then teach the students some of those skills. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of viewers and they have a lot of kids, our viewers, and not everybody gets to participate in this obviously. Um, what would you say to them? I mean, it sounds like a wonderful idea to me, and it's something that I, uh, if you could get all the kids involved in it, it'd be great, right? Mm -hmm. uh, for the parents out there. Uh, why should they embrace something like this? Um, I think it's important to embrace this because it empowers the kids. So giving them opportunities like this really just helps them grow even more. And it helps them take ownership for their own learning. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they are the ones that are responsible for their own learning. Well, they're excited. So are the <laughs> staff members here at the TV station, mm -hmm. for sure. Yes. What a pleasure talking to both of you. Thank you for this. Thank you very much for having us. It's great. Stick around. When we come back, we'll meet two students from next year's news crew at Walnut Creek Elementary. Mm -hmm.